morning. Monday, August 12th, 2024. Tris Speaker. I'm looking at his 22 year career. This video, the 1910 season, how did he do? I've got baseball reference to give me the stats, the box scores, and the accomplishments. I looked at every game he played in that season. 143 games, 141 games, excuse me. 538 at-bats. 92 runs scored, 183 hits. Very good. He is 22 years old. This is his fourth year in the league. He starts at age 19. So he's 22. 183 hits. Solid hitter. 20 doubles, 14 triples, 7 homers, 65 RBI, 35 stolen bases, 52 walks. You know what's interesting? Only 38 strikeouts and 538 at-bats. That means 500 at-bats, no strikeouts. Contact hitter, 340 average. This is the second year in a row over 300. 340. 404 on base, 468 slugging, 252 total bases. During the 1910 season, Tris Speaker had a nine-game hitting streak, 60 multi-hit games, and 141 games. 60 of them were multi-hit. He had 42 hit, two hit games, 15 three hit games, four four hit games. He had 13 games, two runs scored. Two games, three runs scored. He had one game where he scored four runs. 14 games, two RBIs, and three games, three RBIs. So he's not an RBI guy because he didn't have any four, five, or six RBI games. And scoring runs, he's not that much, too, because he didn't get over 100. He got 92. And then um, the RBI is only 65. So he's not an RBI guy. Not a home run hitter. But he's a solid hitter. 183 hits. 20 doubles. 14 triples. 340 batting average. He's arrived. 22 years old. He's a solid player. Line drive hitter, and he's a doubles guy. 20 doubles. All right, 1910 is done. We're going to continue to keep looking at Tris Speaker's career. I am curious, where does he rank as among the greatest of all time? He's playing in 1900s, early, early part of the century. It's a different brand of baseball. You got Ty Cobb playing, Hannes Wagner was playing. Some of these guys are, are legitimate, Hall of Fame, great players. Where does Tris Speaker rank? I want to look at his 22-year career. He ended up with a 345 career batting average. Not too shabby. That's better than Ted Williams. That's better than a lot of other guys. He's in the top five as far as career batting average, right? Tris Speaker? Who's ahead of him? Ty Cobb. A guy named Ed Delante had a 346 career. We're going to look at him. You got Roger Hornsby at 358. You got Joe Jackson, 356. And then Tris Speaker right there in the top five. 345. He had 3,514 hits. Career. That's a lot of hits. So what I'm, what I'm interested in looking at is I want to look at every season that he played. And I want to look at every box score. How many two-hit games, three-hit games, four-hit games, five? Did he have a lot of five-hit games? You know, Ty Cobb had the most of them. He had 13 five-hit games. Let's, let's keep going year by year with Tris Speaker. Right now, 
I have four players in my top ten. Babe Ruth, number one, Ty Cobb, number two, Luke Gehrig, number three, and I got Stan Musial, 3,600 hits. I got him number four, 331 career batting average. I'm looking at accomplishments. I'm looking at the entire career. You may ask, where am I going to put Ted Williams and Roger Hornsby, Henry Aaron, Willie Mays, as far as the greatest of all time? I got to look at their box scores, and I got to look at their entire accomplishment to see where I rank them. Tris Speaker, I'm, I'm on him right now because of the 345 career batting average and the 3,514 hits. Let's get through with him, and then we'll rank him, okay? 1911 season is next. Talk to you later. I'm out.